Hello and good evening everybody, we're back with more Signalis. I'm sure I had something more than that, but that's as far as my brain got and then it fell off a cliff. Uh, yeah, we're back playing more of this space game. The, 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 is it a sad game? Is it a scary game? Is it both? Don't know. It's a weird one. Hey, Al. Uh, we're, uh, yeah, my, I, sure I had stuff I wanted to say here and then the brain was like, no need for that anymore in the trash. Um, what did we do last time? So we found a whole new, like, layer of this awful place. We activated uh, a dumb waiter, went up and down, found some lovely uh, confidential files about the various different replica models, which was neat and concerning. We're learning more about how the whatever organization the 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 nation um has managed to keep the the neural profiles of the replicas stable or has attempted to anyway by giving them like what they titled capital f fetish objects things that i presume were important to the people on whom those replicas were based to help restabilize the neural patterning of the replicas themselves which is interesting. Wondering if the photograph that we have is one of the things that is going to be important for Elsters. We haven't found an Elster file yet. Um, I wonder if they're saving that one for last on purpose. Uh, we also found Falca, who's the commander of this whole thing, who is doing her best Snow White impression, um, just sleeping in a in a in a in a long bed. Um, we found her diary, which was. It seemed to suggest she's experiencing, she's been absorbing someone else's memories, possibly ours, because she's also seeing and finding herself drawn to a woman with white hair. Um, that, or we're both being similarly affected by the same person, don't know. Uh, we also found out that the Falca units uh, have what's called bioresonance, which is like, mind reading, mind control, and telekinesis. And also that they're over eight feet tall, which is terrifying. That's okay, she's asleep. We are going to go play some music at her because the thing that she's holding on to uh, is a box that has a lock that is um, coded to a particular song, we think which is now broadcasting over a particular radio frequency. We set all that up last time. So now if we play our radio at it, presumably the box will open and we'll get a key. And hopefully playing the radio at Falca doesn't wake her up and make her angry at us for disturbing her nap. That's where we're at. Um, all of this in the service of, I think we're still trying to get into the mine. We're still like above the mine layer. Uh, but we've been told that all the gestalts, who are the, the bioorganic people, went down into the mines. Might already be dead, but dead or alive, they're down in the mine layer, and we need an administrator's key in order to get into the mine. So we either need Falca or, what is it, Adler. Um, we need their key to get to the lower levels from where we're at. So maybe waking up Falca is a good thing, and then we can just ask politely for a key. We may be on the verge of another boss battle. I don't remember. It's been it's been too long since I played this game, and I only played it once. So, fingers crossed. Um, but we'll find out together. So, that's where we're going to start. But before we do that, we're going to, once I find the button, talk about content warnings. Because this is a sad game. It's also a horror game. Hey, Bad Road, I have. I've played this game all the way through. Um, I played it just the once. And it's been several months, so a lot of bits of this are coming back to me, but uh, we're now in the part of it, in the kind of middle part, that I don't remember exactly how it... I don't remember exactly how all the bits fit together from here. I remember the beginning, and I remember the ending really strongly. The middle bits are vague. Honestly, the game itself as a whole is a little bit vague. I mean, you've seen it. Um, is not uh, what I would call 
uh, strictly discreet. Um, and it's only going to get less so from here. So that, that part I remember, but in kind of a general sense, not in a... I don't remember when specifically things start to get weirder. I would bet soon. Anyway, uh, content warnings. So, uh, the only reason we're streaming this game at all is because the developers did release a new mode that reduced the strobing sequences, which is great, but it has not removed them. So, forewarning that there are still some um, kind of full screen flashes and strobing sequences uh, in this game. Uh, there are also a number of scenes, particularly in the cutscenes, of intense uh, up close eye contact with some of the characters. So, I wanted to forewarn on that front. Uh, in broader terms, this game deals with uh, heavy amounts of um, both on a visual front and what is described in notes, uh, body horror and psychological horror just throughout. Um, if you're familiar with games like uh, Silent Hill, lots of very similar uh, kind of motifs being borrowed on here. It's a heavy inspiration for this particular game. Uh, in terms of topics, the game also deals heavily with death um, and... Uh, we will see specific references to suicidal ideation uh, as well as depression uh, come up uh, more than once. Uh, for a more comprehensive list, see the doesthedogdie.com entry, which is uh, linked in our uh, CW content tag uh, that is, is here in the channel, uh, or you can go to doesthedogdie.com and just search for Signalis. They both point to the same place. Uh, from what I've seen, folks have been pretty good about putting spoiler warnings on the entries that are major spoilers. Uh, and those that are not, obviously, are not tagged as such. Uh, so you can proceed through that uh, uh, safely. Um, I think that's all that. Hey, Remy. Uh, so with that, we go back to this. And we'll go back to this. Uh, so yeah, we set up the music so that it's the musical cassette. How did it go? So like, they're the, the Storch replicas who are like the guards, essentially. Um, who, and their dorm is next door to the Oilas, who are kind of the, like, general service, uh, kitchen staff, medical personnel, um, customer service replicas. And apparently, the Oilas in their dorm were playing one particular song, um, on loop over and over and over again, and one of the Storches had just had enough, went next door, and stabbed the cassette player. Uh, so we put the cassette and we taped it back together and then we stuck the taped tape into a radio system so it's not broadcasting the song. Um, I think we know what frequency it's broadcast. I think it's, I think it's 142. Uh, I also did not, okay, yeah, we it even left us on 142, so there we go. I think that's Swan Lake. I think that's Swan Lake. I could be wrong. We don't need to just leave that playing. Although it is nice. But we can we don't need to walk around with that on that we'll probably attract friends. Alright, we have our flashlight, we have I forgot that we had an eyeball for screenshots. I Somehow forget that every time. We have lots of healing. I could use one of these now. We're, we're still in yellow. And it goes down to, like, red. So I'm going to hang on to these. We've got lots of ammo. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, where are we going? Uh, where are we going? <laughs> oh, here. That's the, that's the elevator. Right, 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 right. We came back here at the end of the session. That's what it was. And we thermited this friend so that they won't get back up. We did not thermite this friend because we've been able to successfully just sort of creep past them. All right. And then from here. Okay. Let's go here. We read this note. Yes, we read this note. Kind of tempted to. I think 
like there's anything else over here, is there? It doesn't look like there's anything else in here, but like... We got the crank in here. If I go over there, they're gonna see me. Yep. We're just, just gonna... We call this exploratory. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, Alright, let's do one of those. We might get attacked immediately. But you know what? We have healing, and then we need an excuse to use it. So. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. They reset. Uh, I just I want to see if I can get to that poster. Can I? All right, fine. Just want to look at. Nope. Well, shocks. <laughs> thing we're learning about the bio resonance and then these things can't look at this painting i think that's the same painting though all right fine Ooh, thumb baton i would like this thumb note, please Anything in here that we have worked out before we potentially activate a boss That's that. Hang on. Nope. Back out. Back out. Get away. A bulky unit. Is she dead? She looks strangely peaceful lying there. Yeah, it is just... It's just Snow White. Uh, so now... We activate the radio. Oh, that's neat. Hummingbird. Oh, right. Um, so I found out last time that, that there's another uh, replica that we've... Uh, another replica named after a bird that we've run into is the Calibri that we've seen mentioned of. Calibri is German for hummingbird. So the hummingbird door that we found last stream or the stream before. Uh, that's Now we have the key for it. I don't remember where that is. But... Alright. Uh, let's see. That might be that. Probably one of these yellow doors. The yellow doors are the locked doors. Calibri and FF14 look more like toucans. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Briefing room is the astrolabe. We don't need that one. And this is... That's the library key. Okay. Please don't get up. Neat. Okay. Replica known issues part one. Classified information, yada yada, that can't stop me because I can't read. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Okay, this is the same template. Euler. Eulers tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance, as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. That's why it's Swan Lake. <laughs> Persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in Euler dorms as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Euler's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Euler's will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. I love that. I'm also... I'm also recalling we've seen at least one, maybe two, Euler's just sort of standing in some of the upper floors staring at mirrors. Wow, that that recontextualizes that. Oh, the aura units. Okay. Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate auras. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly share this judgment with their entire cadre. 
Auras get along best with Oilers, who tend to be patient and friendly, and have a talent for reading Auras expressionless faces. In many facilities, Auras will construct service tunnels accessible only to them. That's what's been crawling out of the floor. Our, uh, service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and in walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. Horrifying. Love it. Our personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of. Ideally, colorful flowers or trees. Well. Let the mole people have gardens. Let the mole people have gardens. Ah, Calibri. Hello. Uh, Commando Lightenheit Bioresonance bio again. Generation 6. Okay. Look, they're kind of tiny. 152 centimeters. A marvel of modern technology, the Calibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector, blah 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 blah, Falca unit is aided by a cadre of Calibri unit adjutants, adjutants, which can amplify her bioresonance signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Calibris are one of the most effective protector units. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, Extract information non-verbally and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses. The Calibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Neat. If uncles are based on the Grand Revolutionary and or her daughter, do they also have psychic powers, you think? That's actually a really great question. Presumably, yes, that the bioresonance started with gestalts. Because they talked about a bioresonance module in Falkas, so it's to, like, replicate it. I wonder, considering that they talked about the Grand Revolutionary and her daughter, I wonder if Falkas are based on the Grand Revolutionary and Calibris are based on the daughter. Too many stun rods. An electric kettle for brewing tea. Love it. What is this? Eagle Key! <gasps> Adler's office! Calibri's note. Keep an eye on Adler. He's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an Elster unit working at Supinsky. There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. So Adler had, like, memories of future us, or this Calibri was aware of the time loop. Why is Adler outside the time loop? Because he was the one who said you should not have returned, but everybody else seems to, to think this is the first time, including us. But if it's a time loop, why are there bodies from Pat... I have so many questions. Uh, hang on. Was that 99? Uh, 96. Uh, we should get a flashlight here. Yeesh. I would like the shotgun rounds, please. Oh, so that's a... These are the Calibri. Okay. Hey, Cherry. Sierpinski like the triangle. That would make sense. I knew I recognized the term. Thank you. That actually makes me wonder... We saw some symbols. Do we have Lang as an entry yet? We don't. Okay. If we get... If we find a poster for Lang, I want to see if it's got a triangle on it. Because Sierpinski is a facility on the moon Lang. Oh, hang on. I guess that's not a thing. All right. Can I look at his poster? No. What's over here? Postbox key. 
Oh, the post box. With the way up top. Okay. How far are we from a save point? Well, Adler's room is there. We could just go use his key and come back. Yeah, we can come back. There's nothing... There's not much in the way here. You're mass-produced. Maybe it's not a time loop. Yeah. In which case, I just have... That just raises more questions. Uh, okay, that's the eagle door. Please don't get up. I said don't get up. It's fine. We'll just leave them there. Pretty sure we read this note. Yes. Uh, and it'll go right. This is the thing that told us that he's not the commander. He's the assistant to the commander. Aha. There's a book on the table. Tell me this is not the king in yellow. Adler's diary. June 21st, something something 84. I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking, like a clock. Okay, so maybe 21 is... This is either a month later, or 21 is the month and the last digit is the day, and I've been reading these wrong. Uh, without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics contract. If there is anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. And she was the one who had the note about I don't trust Adler. All right, I think the last digit, I think it is year, month, day. So it's the 21st month. I guess moon cycles, they would have different months. That makes sense. Never mind. I had a dream tonight. Another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow. Everybody is dreaming about the same person. And I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. So, like, standard ESP testing. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is... of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I'd never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chess piece... In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Sierpinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. That's us. That's where we have the orange chess piece. I mean, it looks red to me, but... Uh... The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes a room. Creepy. More sick, making my work ever harder. How were we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that, our, as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. Another diary filled. For no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet, since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Uh huh. Eh. Huh? There's a hole in the front of the box. Something is missing from the mechanism. Okay, so we have to get a device. And come back. Alright. Oh, look. It's the Elster file. There's a double decker in his bathroom. 
The Elster file was in Adler's private office, eh? Generation 5. Okay, so we're we're only one gen earlier than Calibri, which so far is the latest generation replica we've found. Biomechanical carbon fiber reinforced polyethylene shell and titanium skeleton. Versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. That tracks. We were assigned as a mechanic along with a gestalt on a, like, seed... Well, not a seed ship, on a long-range exploratory ship. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration, which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. When do we get that? Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta... Hang on. Our neural pattern is from Veneta. That might be important. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, new Elster units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. From what we remember, we crash-landed here on a ship from the Penrose program. If all of the Elsters are based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program, we might just be remembering, or or that might be the original units, the original Elster's memory. And all of the Elster's are based on that neural template. It's a copy of a copy. I missed that the first time. All right. Uh, well. Go ahead and just turn this off in the meantime. It's equipped again. Right. We got that memo about we can't open doors in the dark. It's still silly, but you know what? It is what it is. Ooh, you're fast. Not faster than that. Alright, uh, well. Now let's go back and get the mailbox key. That was so much. That was so much. It's all very mind fucky. Yeah. Penrose, like the triangle. Oh god, you're right. There are so many triangles. Triangles and loops. There. And out we go. Ooh. Now that we've used one... Perfect. All to close. Hang on. We read this, yeah? Yes, okay. We read this? Yes. Sorry, I don't want to leave any... Don't want to leave any lore on the table, you know? Uh, okay. Since we've got all this... I think... Go up. this way. All the way up. Or most of the way up. I think it's here? Yes. Okay. Eh. I'd like to use the post box. Thank you. Library key. We go right back down. No. First, save. Which is like, right here. Then we go back down. Hey, Bob. Have we run into Pascal? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Is there anything... We want to oh, yes. Let's go ahead and deposit those while we're here. Still... Still riding along... On the... At the health we got. 
the file called us a survivalist, and we are surviving. Go ahead and we'll store exactly one. We keep running into a stun rod when we're at max, which means we can't collect them, and I'll just, just keep putting them in the bin. Right, the library was all the way at the bottom, I think? Pretty sure the library is on eight. Yes, okay. Please stay on the floor. Thank you for staying asleep. Library is here. Yeah! Alright. Oh! Friend! Calibri! Who are you? You're not one of our staff. I mean, you're right. The others, uh, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. Yeah, that's a hell of a way to put it. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together we guided them all. But now, I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together, and I am here, outside. And they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I'd become like the others, too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. Fuck. Okay. Known Issues Part 4. Calibri. Great care should be given to Calibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable, and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Calibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Calibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it's important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Calibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Damn. Alright. Go ahead and finally heal, since we finally found a regular repair spray. And I don't want it eating up our inventory. Ah! Replica Known Issues Part 3. Mina. This neural pattern is extremely stable. Aw. Little has to be done to keep Minas happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing gestalt memories. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. This is the big, like, mining robot. The first boss that we ran into was a mina. This is... I love it. Adler. Adler units work best when left alone. I would love to. They do not mix well with their own type. <laughs> wow, back to back bangers. <clears throat> they do not mix well with their own type. They will usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresonance suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. Absolutely incredible. I also find it helpful for my persona stabilization. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so we've got, is this like a... Okay, so these are blocks. Oh, I see, okay, so we wanna go like, we go over, over, down. Oh, that'll lock me out, I think. It is the fucking king in yellow. God damn it. Pick up the astrolabe. Yes, I would like to. We've seen that symbol's on the on the that symbol's on the menu. Alright. Now we have a strange clockwork like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. This is the thing that goes to Adler's uh, safe. Alright. Well, that's still on this floor. Let's just... Oh, that's not that one. This one. No, as long as we're here. Wait, that's the wrong one. Right, the safe room is a floor up. I'm in the wrong place. We stay on the floor. Should have brought some thermite for this area. So put the thing on the thing. Boom. Alright. Okay, got it. Alright, so... So now we need to figure out which of these symbols is which planet. Okay, so... Pause symbol is... Veneta, which is where our original persona is from, apparently. Triangle is Kitesh. Kitesh. Got it. Uh, star is Heimat. I'm not going to make the same Oh Heimat joke again, although I was thinking it very hard. That's the wrong thing. Rot front is the circle. Rot. I knew these symbols were going to be important. And Bouillon is the hexagon. Okay. Is Bouillon. Alright. So. Okay, so the star... So Heimat is in a fixed position... This is the this is the thing. This is the this thing. So if I flip you again, if I want to, there we go. Okay, so all right. So I've got to, I think I've got to go back to the thing and wait until Heimat is in the like uh, twelve o'clock position. To see where everything else is at, and that's the that's the safe combination. Everybody be cool. Everybody stay calm. That's here. Yes. Okay. Just missed it. So, how's everybody doing? Read any good confidential notes lately? Would you name a planet Lang? I don't know that this matters. I think Lang is technically a moon, but I don't know. What does Lang mean?
All right. So. And that is a 12. Then. Well, you're at the 12 o'clock position. Then both Katesh and Veneta are at. The like. So these are 10. Uh, rough front is at. Call that 8 for simplicity's sake. And then. Beyond at four. Right. Hooray! That's a neat puzzle. I like that one a lot. I would like the administrators to keep it. Lang is a fictional plateau from a Lovecraft story. Well, that fits the other references that they're making. <laughs> That's also where we are right now. Uh, so that that just that just tracks. Hey, Dave. I would name a body Lang if my name was Lang. I mean, yeah. Care more about the library of Lang. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> Shrine diary. 11 pages. Lord. Oh, good. This picks up the day after Adler's last diary ended. I started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sierpinski, but a bright light illuminates my day. Today, I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falka, and she, and she was as magnificent as ever. Another day passes. During my meeting with the Commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. Okay, maybe I'm reading the entries backwards. Or maybe... Maybe they're not chrono chronological. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. Never mind, everything's fine. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. Reading the diary explains the diary. What an embarrassing mistake. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before, and even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. A yesterday that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I, too, have become sick like the others without realizing. But I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors. A gradual corruption of information. A story misremembered, slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material mutating and evolving, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template. I do not know, but I will find out. The answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there in the mine. No. Adler's having a normal one, I see. Um, so, so that's fun. Also, we have the key card that'll take us down into the mine where Adler feels he's being called. I'm sure it'll be great. We're going to we're going to go to the break and think about what we've just learned. So, stand up, stretch, get a drink, do whatever you need to do to take care of you. We'll be back in just a few minutes here 
as we head into the mine and get some answers that we probably don't want. See y'all in a few. This game is a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Nevertheless, it is so much. Uh, hey, the mine is right there. We don't have to go far. Let's just let's go see what it's all about. You know, I'm just gonna run. Not the button I meant to press, but it's a good button to press. Uh huh. It's the mine shaft access elevator controls. If she is still alive, she's probably there. Take the elevator to the mine. N nah. Nah, I've, I've thought better. Yeah, we're going. I'm going to guess liminality. Oh, Issa, you're alive. Adler's also alive. I'm less thrilled about that, I'll be honest. No, you're here. Oh, damn. I've done this countless times before. You don't belong here. Push him in the hole. Push him in the hole. Yes. Oh, damn. 
Zikolas. In her defense, I did say stab him. And that's exactly what she did. Let's go, Issa. Damn. Oh. Well, good adventurers go left. Alright. Let's just see if the other way is a dead end. Just, just, just to check. Do we think this is basalt? That's the stuff that grows in hexagons, right? Okay, it is a dead end. Cool. We were correct to go left. I almost said we were right to go left, and then I realized how silly that would sound, and then I didn't say it, and then I said it anyway to explain why I didn't say it. Which kind of defeats the purpose of saying it. God, the shadows. Sorry. Just... Huh. Oh, these are the, these are the mina, mining lasers. They are massive. Would still love to take one. Listen, if if Jill Valentine can carry one for like, you know, one fight at the end of Resident Evil Three, I'm sure we could probably lift one, for a minute. Is that just a big empty room? The assets in here are reminding me of like old isometric games from the early 90s in the best possible way. Go up here. Oh, hi. Ah. Hello. You're not a protector, are you? What brings you here? I'm Bayo. If you're down here, you're probably looking for something. I'd help you, but one of my hydraulics failed, and I can't move. It's okay, everybody. It's just hydraulic fluid. It's the same color. I'm pretty much done for, so you can just leave me here. There's no point repairing an old unit like me, so don't worry about it, okay? It'd be a waste of resources. I'd offer you my mining laser, but I don't think your frame could supply the power output. That's fair. You're probably better off using a gun. There should be some useful equipment in the mining office. It's just south of here. Don't worry about me. There are many replacements. Oof. Oof. We're just replicas after all, right? In the end, what's one drop to an ocean? When I die, they'll just make another. Thank you for talking to me. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, I want to find a stuffed animal and bring it back. We cannot leave this like this. Not allowed. Not okay. So this is the mining office? Holy crap. Oh. Mining nuclear tech high security replica. Looks incredibly badass. Flare gun! It's Alan Wake all over again. Yes, I will take the signal first, please. Alina's diary. It's worse than I thought. Everyone has disappeared. Still haven't found any trace of Elster. 
It's as if she's never. It's as if she had never been here. What is going on? Something's wrong with the protectors. Those that are still around. A guard spotted me earlier, sneaking out of the medical wing, and she let out a monstrous scream as she chased after me. When I looked back, I saw her face, and now I can't forget. It looked like she'd been in some horrible accident. Alright, so Alina's also looking for us. Expects, expects that we're here, and is surprised that we apparently have never been here. We have many guns, which I am happy about. I like I like having many guns, but also actually, we're gonna we're gonna go down first. So we're gonna actually gonna drop this off. Nope, not those. These. Keep traveling light for a little bit. Flare gun. We have a revolver. We have a shotgun. Oh, okay. We can't go that way. Never mind. That's where Bayo is. I know it's not that kind of game, but if we do find anything even resembling a stuffed animal, I'm bringing it back. I think this is the last stop. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so could grab this. Could grab this. Could grab this. We have so many options. Probably got the most in terms of revolver ammo, but I. Uh... Mm. All right, let's grab one of these. Grab. Grab this and you too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then if we run out of space, we're just getting rid of one shotgun shell, which isn't that bad. This way, if it is the boss. We're prepared. That's a friend. Let's just let's head this way, see what happens. Okay. Hello. Monofilament fiber. Handle with care. Risk of death. Monofiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's neat. Okay, we're already healed up, so we don't need that. That's teaching us to use the flashlight. Oh. Hey, don't cry. It'll be over soon. Remember that time we went to the surface? The stars were so beautiful. I wish we could go there again. Hey, listen. I'll let you in on a secret. 
I can remember my name from my old life. Isn't that funny? Don't you want to know it? Here, I'll tell you. It'll be our secret together. So you can stop crying, okay? It'll be okay. Wherever it is I'm going, I'll wait for you there. Fuck. This game is rude. Walking around. It's fine, we'll just our way through. No problem. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. That was Oh god. Oh god. Oh I fucked up. Oh I fucked up. Ow. Oh no. Ow. Just go. Down we go, down the hole. No time to think about it. <sighs> see, Andy, this is why we need to have a conversation about not just pressing every button you see. Alright, so... Okay, we can't go that way. What's that noise? I like that noise. Definitely don't like that noise. Definitely don't like that it's getting louder and closer. That's a hole. I guess we probably also can't go this way. We're going to have to jump down the hole, yeah? Oh, maybe not. Can't really say I expect that conversation to have any lasting effect. You're right. I know what I'm about. Uh, any other things up here? Nope. Down the blood hole. Looks like there's no other way. Jump into the hole. And it said something else first. There's a huge hole in the ground. I can hear the sound of water from below. Okay. That's not nearly so bad. Oh, there she is. Countdown. Uh-huh. on the beach so that's neat I can't remember which was the ocean world it might have been Veneta actually now that I think about it 
It calls me. In a sea of flesh, we will become one, but I can never go back to being me. Uh-huh! Oh, it's the island from the painting. What do these all mean? Song of blah 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 unsung, as tears unshed shall dry and die. Okay. Let's just follow the creepy poetry. What could go wrong? The night where black stars rise and strange moons circle through the skies, but stranger still. I have concerns. Along the shore, the cloud waves break. The twin suns sink. The shadows lengthen. Lighting on the on the cliff edge in the distance there. Whew. Or there be all sorts of death. Somewhere in the body remains. Some it vanisheth quite away with the spirit. Am I running out of time? So, ah, we found water. Hmm, don't love it here. Rusted surgical tools. They're not much use to me. Lifeless replica bodies are lying on the slabs. Go ahead and get rid of that so that we can pick up this. Man, so that we can pick up this. And use it. We go left. That was not left. We went left and we came out right. Aha. Uh -huh. Triangle door. I'm actually the side, okay. Me All the doors in here are backwards. That's not what I meant to do, but it's fine. Red wooden doll. Well, well, well. If I can get both of you together here, we can actually make this work wonderfully. Run, 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 run. Sloppier than I'd counted on. Mostly just wanted to grab that. Right, how much revolver ammo did we pick up? Oh, that's a bunch. Damn. Don't want to toss that. All right, we'll come back for the doll. Surely there'll be a save room somewhere around. Oh, another hole. Uh huh. Warnings. This place. <laughs> Nothing valued is here. What is here was dangerous and repulsive. Messages of war. You know, the language that we're supposed to leave on, like, irradiated and nuclear sites so that long after we're gone, uh, the danger is still present and it was is to the body and... Oh, boy. Starting to really believe that radiation is actually at the heart of all this. Form of the danger is blank, the danger is blank. Disturb this place, shunned and left uninhabited. When blank within is killed, a path will open here. Incredible. 
This is not a place of honor. No map data, hey? Neat. Okay, can we go north? Okay. Why are the notes red here? Offerings, huh? In the darkness, the dead shall be offered a light and holy spices so that they may find a way out of this cursed place. All right. Ancestral tablets are lined up against the wall. The names are illegible due to where? All right, so we need spices and fire. Okay. Doesn't sound like a place worth mapping anyway. Who would want to go there? You're making points. You're making good points. Uh, all right. Well, we have, we have to go down the damn hole. Uh, which means we need this, because I don't know if we can get back here. I'd rather have five revolver bullets I can't currently use, or eight pistol bullets that I can definitely use now but aren't as valuable later. We're going to make a dangerous choice. On the assumption that revolver ammo is going to become a premium, and we've already passed up a decent amount of it. But at some point, we'll get to a save room with an item box in it. Like right now. <laughs> oh, it's a classroom. I don't like there being a classroom here. Leave. That's what I keep saying. Okay, okay hang on. Well, no, the, the game will save notes for us. Leave this place, but that's got to be like a locked code or something, I'm sure. don't like it. Oh, that's why it's red. The blood. The red blood. <laughs> How much wear does it take to remove names from tablets? That's a great point, actually. And also, what is causing the wear? Uh, okay, we're gonna store that. We're gonna store that. We're gonna go ahead and put the shotgun away. Go ahead and get the revolver out now that we have all of this ammo for it. Oh! No, actually, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. That's that's a lot of revolver ammo. Uh, and yeah, we'll do the usual store one stun rod. We do not need the flare gun yet. He says with unearned confidence. Give this a shot. Actually, wait, did I just... No, I've got myself one free slot. That's fine. Okay. So we've got a triangle and we've got an asterisk. We've got a three-sided object and a six-sided object. <laughs> what? What? Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. No. Mystery flesh pit. That's just... No. Mm -mm. Nitro Express Ammo. You're going to stay right there. I don't even know what you are. No escape. So we've gone immediately from leave to no escape. Even in the darkest depths, the song of the cosmos can still be heard in the ether. The sound of the stars. Pick up the wedding ring. Well, if we find her, we can propose. What? Do we play our radio? Okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. So. Eh, I'm out of paper. <laughs> One second. Oh, oh, the, the fucking the buttons. The buttons are lit up. Okay. Okay. All right. So triangle is. I'm just going to go by numbers, so it's 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. 
All right. There's an infinity. Sure. Infinity is one, three, four, five, seven. Right, 50 is the end. I start triangle again. Is that a diamond? Diamond is one, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Seven, nine. That's a six digit code. Okay. Pentagon. Okay, got it. Neat. One, two, five, six, seven, nine. It's our hexagon. Okay. Eight. Got it, there's our asterisk. Okay. Uh, one, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. And that's it. That's the wrong button. Oh, that's neat. Look at how many camera angles they have on Flesh Hole. <laughs> Victims of the Almighty Sarlacc. <laughs> yeah, we're absolutely going to have to jump down Flesh Hole before it's all said and done. That is 100% correct. Oh, we still don't have a map. Damn it. Uh, all right, one of these doors was in the safe room, so let's head back to the safe room and open a door. And we'll put these high flesh pit. We'll put these ammo in there while we're there. Uh, can't remember which door it was. Well, it wasn't that one. Oh, there's a ladder, too. Crap. It was a risk, but... Yeah, we're definitely going to need to switch to the revolver at this point, I think. Alright. So. Put you guys away. Alright, so. One, two, eight, nine. Hell yes! Oh, that's neat. I like that. I like how that weapon sounds like the Foley is just someone smacking a box or something. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Jump down the mystery flesh pit, become an esophagi. Amazing. Alright, pistol going away. Shotgun coming out. And we will revolve. I hate how all the doors are backwards. We go through a door pointing north, we come out going south. Also, why why the floor jiggle? Why the floor is breathing? Well, can we rope it up? Let's find out. Yes, we can. We go south and we come on north. Everything's backwards. Everything's deliberately backwards in a in a place with no map. Ah, ah. Okay. Empress. On the first day she was crowned. On the longest day, nothing was done. On the next day she was wed. 
on the last day she took her life. Fingers. Okay. First day she was crowned, so there's going to be like a regal something for the index, probably. Longest won't have a ring. Next, the wedding ring that we found will actually go on the ring finger. That makes perfect sense. And then on the last day will be the pinky? Will be like a... Well, the last day she took her life. I guess we'll figure out what that means. I just put this away, but fine. Yee! Alright, well, once we have the rings, we'll come back. Ah. Hello there. There's no way we're gonna just get around this. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh, it's so. It feels so good to just juke them. I don't know why. It's silly, but it's fun. Alright, let's put the revolver. Uh, not the revolver. Put the pistol ammo back. How are we doing on time? We can probably open at least one more door and still get back here, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, might be worth thermiting you two since you're right outside the save room here. Oh, man. Yeah. Door is locked with a large, heavy padlock covered in rust. I need a key to open it. All right. Is this just up to where... Oh. That wasn't a hole at all. It was a ladder. I misunderstood. Where was the... Where's the wedding key that we found? That's the flesh... That's not... Oh, it was right over here, wasn't it? It was... Radio room. It was here. Yes, we'll grab this. I don't have any room for anything else, but let's at least check one more room out. Or not, I guess. Are our options seriously jump down the flesh pit? I guess so. Alright, well. Since, since this connects directly to where the ring fingers are, we can just come back. We can just leave the rings in the storage box until we have all of them. Oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Because I misunderstood that was we can, don't have to jump down. I'm going to I'm going to put off jumping down the flesh hole until the last possible moment. Elster has been jumping down a lot of holes and I I feel like maybe that's bad for her health, you know, on the whole. So I didn't mean to I didn't mean that to be a pun, but here we are. Uh one of these here we go. Right. Doors are backwards. Gotta remember. Triangle. One, two, six, seven, eight. Where do you go? What the fuck is that? If it doesn't notice us, we'll never have to end. So, oh, God. The fuck is this room? Room is death is what this is. Let's leave. No, come on. Alright, yeah. I guess. <laughs> shit, shit ass. Okay, uh, well. We're in bad shape. We're gonna use this first. We're gonna uh, turn this back on. Because we can't not. Nope, nope, we're, we're super dead. Yeah, we're... I, I think we just re... Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. This is very bad. Okay. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Nope, oh, oh. Don't want to use all of these if I can help it. But at the same time, I don't want to die, so. Oh, it's because we, we don't have any ammo left. Yeah, we do, wait. 
Why aren't you firing? There we go. Thank you. Get out, get out, get out. Didn't get out, didn't get out. Well, we got another ring. I don't know if it was worth it. Good grief. That was all of our healing. Thank you, Bad Road. So here's our conundrum. We can't open this door without our flashlight on. With our flashlight on, enemies detect us almost immediately. And we know on the other side of this door is a room full of some fairly powerful enemies, including at least one Mina. But we can't just turn our turn our turn off our flashlight and go through the door. So this might be our first death. Let's find out. Running. Keep running. Uh, we don't have the flare gun with us. It might just be wiser to reload from here, honestly. We can reload the fast way. Let's at least find out what this stuff is. We'll use this as a little bit of a cheat, you might say. Whoop, get some perfect information. Sure. Oh, ho, ho. What is this thing? Oh, signal flares. Ow. Ow. What is this thing? Ah, that's the doll. Okay. Ow. All right. Do our best on claim. I'm dead just wrong. Go ahead. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, take your time. Now that we know that we're walking into, <laughs> I think we'll just uh, go into that room a little bit better prepared next time out, which is fine. Let's see, we're here. There. All right. So that's where we'll pick up next time with a bit more information <laughs> instead of just recklessly running. Uh, but uh, we have a whole bunch of radio codes now and a whole bunch of doors to go through, one of which is full of death uh in this case literally can't remember if that actually gets us no no not you yeah okay gonna run a little bit over uh let me switch back to the game for a second with our our diagnostic panel um on the the right there are these little like triangles on uh, i don't know why i'm pointing at my screen like you can see that uh, but the triangles uh, on uh, Elster's back on the right there, one of them is red now. Each time we die, another one of those fills in. I don't know what happens if they all fill in. I didn't. I didn't die that many times my first time out. But we have one now, so I just wanted to point that out because I noticed that uh, sometime into my my first playthrough, and it was just kind of a neat touch that this diagnostic screen does not just like completely flavor it actually like it actually tracks something which is i don't know i think it's neat anyway 
Uh, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Uh, we'll, we'll pick up next time in wherever the hell this is. The Flesh Mine. The place where they mine the flesh. Um, this game... Had, you remember earlier tonight when Bad River was like, you played this before? I'm like, yeah, I have, but I forgot the part in the middle and I don't remember exactly when it, like, when it turns the corner into suddenly getting very weird. This is that point, I guess. Because um, I do remember the gooey bits being... Uh, like a sign that uh, shit's about to, to go down. We're there. We're absolutely there. Uh, more on that Monday. <laughs> so, uh, wait, no, it is Monday. More on that Thursday. I fr I'm so, I'm, the flesh hole has just got me uh, spun right round, baby, right round. Um, right, like, exactly like the metal wrench from off. That's exactly right. Um, Right, that's what I was going to say. Be sure to check out our full stream team schedule at schedule.truck.community that has uh, what our whole stream team is up to all week long with links to their respective channels and what they're streaming and when and all of that good stuff uh, so that you can, can keep up with a whole bunch of fun games uh, and what's going down. Speaking of fun games, here in just a little bit over at twitch.tv slash squirrelily, uh, Remy and Alice, uh, no, Remy and Annie, uh, are going to be playing some more uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I keep wanting to say Super Mario Brothers Odyssey, but I think it's just Super Mario Odyssey, uh, I believe. And uh, we'll send a raid their way here in just a moment. I think that's everything from me. Uh, thank you all so much again. Have a wonderful week. Stay warm, those of you who are uh, dealing with the same sort of uh, chilly weather that we are. And I think that's that. Hope to see you next time. Good night, y'all.